So I have the uh, amplifier that I built uh, on a heat sink now. And um, the funny thing about these devices, this, um, what is an LM, uh, I forget the number of it now, uh, 1875, I think. Um, the the uh, tab, you would think the tab would be ground. Unfortunately, the tab on these devices is minus V. So if you're putting in minus 25 volts, it's going to be minus 25 on the case. So not the greatest, uh, not the greatest thing for design. So I put an insulator underneath it and uh, a um, plastic washer. So it's insulated now from the uh, from the heat sink. Uh, I think I'm going to operate this thing at plus or minus 20 volts. And um, so that's what's here: uh, ground plus 20 and minus 20. Uh, this is the output, so I have that going to a speaker. And then this is the input. Uh, so let's bring over an input. Uh, I have a function generator that I'll show you. Um, hook up ground and... So I think you can hear that. It's going to be annoying. So I won't leave it on long, but that's 100 kilohertz. I mean, uh, 1 kilohertz. Uh, so the amplifier is working. Um, so what I wanted to measure was this thing had awfully awesome uh, total harmonic distortion specs. I think it's 0.04 percent, um, which is pretty great. Um, so uh, I have an instrument that actually measures total harmonic distortion, and I've never used it before. Um, so let me let me show that to you now. Uh, let, let me rearrange the camera. Okay, uh, this is the power supply I'm using to give it the plus and minus 20, uh, plus and minus 20 volts. Um, but this is the instrument we're going to be using to do the uh, total harmonic distortion. Now, um, I, I uh, found this Keithley for a really, really good price. Um, I don't remember if it was $300 or $400, but um, somewhere in that range, which is just a screaming deal because it's a six and a half digit volt meter. These are really, really nice volt meters. And um, I really wanted the Keithley uh, 2000. Um, strangely enough, you can get the Keithley 2015 cheaper. I don't know why, because the 2015 is a way better instrument. Um, so anyway, so I got the 2015. And you can see right here on the label, it says a uh, THD multimeter. So it does total harmonic distortion built into the device. So the cool thing about it is it actually has the function generator built into it. So there is a, a, a button here called Source. Uh, so you can set it to a sine wave. It comes out the back panel, so I have that coming over through a BNC off the back. But you can uh, turn on the sine wave output. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess it's two channels. Hmm. Uh, so amplitude I have set to uh, 10 millivolts. Uh, impedance, 50 ohms. Wow. Uh, frequency I have it set to 1 kilohertz. And uh, so then, the only other thing you have to do is exit out of here. Um, there's this button here, THD. So if you hit the Shift THD button, uh, it measures total hot mic distortion. And the way that it does that is it uh, uh, captures a whole bunch of uh, samples. So this thing has memory in it. You can actually set it up to capture a series of measurements and do math on them. So this harmonic, total harmonic distortion uh, captures a whole bunch of events, sort of like a, s a oscilloscope, uh, a, data a data acquisition machine, and then does an FFT on it. So it does a Fourier transform on it. It takes a look at the um, harmonics. So the, the distortion, if you have distortion in a sine wave, it shows up as, as power in harmonics. And so you can actually measure the uh, distortion by looking at how uh, how your sine wave is distorted. So you need a very, very clean sine wave to begin with, so that's why they built it into the machine to have its own sine wave that it knows knows is a very, very good, clean uh, sine wave for, for, for distortion. So let's, uh, let's hook it up again. And um, I have it set up to average uh, the total harmonic distortion over 10 readings. Um, and, ah, I'm not looking at anything. So I need to, I need to uh, connect the, 
Let me turn this off for a second. Uh, I need to connect the uh, input of the voltmeter to the speaker leads. So I will connect the speaker leads together. Let's see here. And turn it back on. And there we go. 0.01% total harmonic distortion. I'm just amazed. This little chip is really, really good. Um, now, it's going to be worse uh, at 20, 20 watts, probably. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty amazing. So we can turn it up a bit. We can uh, go to the source. And we can increase the amplitude of the source. That's pretty loud. And um, we're still measuring. Oh, we're still measuring uh, the the point point zero one percent total harmonic distortion. So, again, I'm very very impressed with uh, impressed with that little chip. And uh, now I don't know how good it sounds with music and everything. I mean, there's more more to an amplifier than just total harmonic distortion, but. Uh, if you do need something with total low to total harmonic distortion, uh, this seems like it would be a really really good chip to be using. Anyway, so I'm I'm quite impressed. All right, we uh, we saw that the amplifier had really low distortion, and I mentioned that the uh, Keithley meter has a very uh, nice sine wave in it. Um, let's use this sine wave over here. This is a 10 ma uh, two megahertz sweep function generator. It's pretty nice. I think I paid 30 bucks for it. Used I got a steal on it. Um, it's real nice. So it's got sweep. Uh, it's got square waves, triangle waves, uh, sine waves, and stuff. A TTL MOS output. Uh, uh, output. You can put. You can use it as a frequency counter for input. Um, it's a nice little device. So you're getting a nice frequency count uh, on the input uh, I mean, on your output. It's using its own frequency counter to uh, uh, to show you what uh, what value you have going on here. A little hard to set to exactly uh, exactly kilohertz, but it doesn't really matter. The, um, so we're going to use uh, the sine wave out of this, and we'll measure the uh, harmonic distortion like we did before. And to the ear, it sounds about the same. Uh, but you can see that it's measuring up 0.17% total harmonic distortion, whereas uh, with the function generator that's built into the Keithley, uh, we were getting 0 0.01. So it's really important that you have a, have a very, very clean sine wave if you're going to do measurements like this.